could Kazuo's friend be the original wielder of this legendary steel brand? Or is it the very sword that Bal uses to cast him down? The Mist Splitter's reflection's in-game description reads, A sword that blazes with a fierce violet light. The name Reflection comes from its once having been broken. If this sword was involved in their fated duel, who was the original wielder of the reflection? How could one even come in possession of such a bleed? Was it even used at all? Because I want to know, I honestly have no idea. It's just a cool idea for a pre-intro intro. I'll be talking about something different entirely, and if you like this video, consider the following. Mondstadt is the city of freedom, and Leo is the city of contracts. As for Inazuma, it's known as the nation of So there's been a lot of debate on whether Baal is a sword user or polearm user. It all began when leakers were saying Baal slash Raiden Shogun was going to be a polearm character, but she clearly pulls the sword out of her torso. So there's a ton of back and forth within the community about what she will be. There's strong evidence on both sides that can be considered, so let's dive into it. We can see from the prologue and trailers that she clearly wields a sword with our own two eyes, and she pulls the sword out of her torso in the Immovable God and the Eternal Euthemia trailer. They showed Sarah with a sword in the prologue to Inazuma, but she is shown using a bow in another Genshin trailer. But I think Genshin leakers can be fairly trustworthy sometimes. At one point leakers thought Albedo to be a Geo bow user and he ended up being a sword user. It's not out of the realm of possibility that she is polearm. There are 5 weapon styles in the game and 7 archons, so she could still be a polearm or just something else entirely. On July 10th, the Paimon bot in the official Genshin Impact Discord said she will be a sword user, and so that's the end of the debate, right? We can close the books on that one? Well, not exactly. On July 11th, the next day after, the moderators removed the character's information and made the channel hidden because the Paimon bot was taking information from the wiki page, which anyone can change, so it's still very much up in the air as to what she will be. So here's my theory. Aquaria, the combat designer, talks about Tartalia's fighting style very briefly. He goes over some of the struggles they were having with him, but ultimately how proud of his fighting style the team was in the end. To me, this sounds like they will not be scrapping the idea of characters getting a specific style or styles of fighting. My theory is that Ball will be unique like Tartalia, so she could have a burst or a skill that changes her from her main weapon to an electric sword or something of that sort. This is just hopeful thinking. She could simply just infuse herself with Electro or use the sword for a big strike that deals a ton of damage or even something similar to Catching's burst. Ball with a polearm and a Tartalia stance change fighting style would be super cool though. But as of the release of this video, we don't know what weapon she will be using. This video is not meant to stir up drama, but Raiden and her fighting style is just a hot topic right now, so I thought I'd record it and talk about it. To bring up a healthy discussion amongst Genshin Impact fans, please follow Hourly Raiden on Twitter. They post fantastic Raiden content. And also bookmark Genshin.HoneyHunterWorld.com as their information is something I find myself referring to pretty much daily. If you like this video, consider liking and subscribing and or following my Twitch. The choice is completely up to you guys. See ya.